Well, of course. The smartest thing is to, is to own both sides of every game. But you, that way you know the outcome. It, we own the, de the Republicans. We own the Democrats. We got a lot of uh, good Jewish boys in on, on both of them. And the rest of them are good bought and pay for Shabbos Goy. And we throw a few shekels into their uh, uh, campaign uh, uh, contributions that we give them in uh, our uh, Jewish lobby uh, in uh, Israel. And they, uh, you know, they take the money and they, they do what we want so that we can make some shekels. If, if nobody stops it, who's to say we shouldn't be doing it? If, don't you wish you could do it? You're not doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, but you're thieves and liars. You know, you're all thieves and liars, just like it says in St. John 844. But you see, Rabbi Finkelstein, you don't own me, and you don't control me, and you don't control the racial identity movement in this country who really understands to a varying degree of what you people are and what you've done. Well, that's, that's true. You're one of those goyim out there that we don't control. Uh, but I'll tell you a little something else. We all respect you for what you do, because at least you stand up for your race. But the rest of them out there, they're all a bunch of cowards, all the white lace goyim, all the men. Uh, the most of them these days, they carry places and they wear earrings. They're, 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 uh, they're no wonder the white girls come to us, all the shikses. are on two totally opposite sides of this planet, and both of us have two totally different wants and needs and desires against one another, and yet here we are, sitting here tonight live on the Turner Radio Network, discoursing about people, discoursing about things, being honest and truthful, and in telling the truth to the masses, but you know, the, the masses have a hard time believing anything. Well, we've done a great brainwashing job on them over the centuries, and especially the last few hundred years. I, we've just brainwashed them completely. They believe anything we tell them. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, we have a lot of fun around Passover where we steal the children. And, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, I know you know because I've heard it on your show before. I mean, we steal 100 to 300,000 children a year just here in this country. And we drain the blood and we mix it with the Passover bread. And then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own. And we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. McDonald's is one of our favorite outlets. And uh, the people, they eat them for breakfast. They eat uh, their children for lunch. And, uh, you know... Uh, as Jews, you know, we gotta, uh, we got to do what we do. The, the, the most important thing to remember between you, Pastor Wickstrom, and me, Rabbi A.B. Finkelstein of New York, that we both have two fathers, and so that's why we look at the world in two different ways. And we know that there's a massive collision that's going to take place between two forces, don't we? Well, that's what your book says. Our book says that we're going to take over the world. Well, I look at you... You're doing a pretty good job right now. Yes, yeah, so you've done a pretty good job, but you know there's quite an awakening coming. The Jews run the show in the world. Not because they want, because that's what God wants. And it's like the Jews are everywhere. Politics, all the assistance of Trump, Jews. All the assistance of Sleepy Joe, Jews. Obama, Jews, everyone around there, Reform Jews, Conservative Jews, Chabadnik, this, Convert, it's all somehow. Same thing was in Spain, same thing was in many different countries. Well, we did a good job with the public school system. We got you to put all of your children in there. You notice that the Jew doesn't put his children in there. They go to the Hebrew Academy where we teach them the real things, and then they go to the synagogue and they learn the real important things. But we send your kids to the public school. We even have you tax yourself from your property so that you never own your property. And uh, so if you don't make your property tax, we're going to take your property. You can bet on that. And we have you put your kid in a 12-year uh, babysitting is about all it does because you don't learn anything. And then by that time, the kids, uh, they get to be teenagers. And then uh, we give them the music. 
Uh, not that we really want to call it music, because, uh, oy vey, that's not music. But they listen to that, and then they want to do what they want to do, and so we sell them drugs. Uh, we make a lot of money off your children. Your children from cradle to grave. All we do is make money off of them. Your cattle, your goyim, the human cattle. Mazel tov. My father, who is not your father, my father Yahweh, who isn't your father, of course, your father is talked about by my father in John 8, 44, stating that your father was Satan and that you're the descendant of Cain, who was the first murderer. And, and you know that's true because you teach it in your synagogue. Well, that's true, but it's not for you Goyim to know, but right now it's too late. It's over for you, white face. So that's why I'm speaking so honestly here, to bring it out into the open so that you can see it for what it is. Uh, you've been teaching uh, the people real good, but they don't wake up, do they? You don't get a lot of followers, do they? Because you know why? They're scared of us Jews, because they don't want to be called anti-Semites, and they believe that we're the chosen people, and so that's why uh, we can do whatever we want to do, and we can get away with it, because the white men are cowards, and we go to the synagogue all the time and have some mana shevets and dance the Hava Megillah. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I've told people for years and years, it's not that you Jews are hiding anything. You're coming right out on television, in the newspapers, on the radio, and you're telling the people exactly what you're going to do before you do it, and they're, uh, they're like they're brain dead. Well, there was a Goyim that wrote a book about it back in the 30s. I forget his name at the moment. Uh, but anyway, he wrote the book. Uh, people didn't buy the book. People don't want to listen. We've been doing this for thousands and thousands of years, since down to uh, Adam's time. Uh, we take the children of uh, our enemy, which is the white race, and uh, we bring them to the basements in the synagogues, where we uh, drain the blood and uh, watch them die there. It's very similar to how we do uh, uh, the, uh, the, the sacrifices that we do with the uh, kosher butchering. And uh, so we do that, and then uh, we mix it with the Passover bread. And so we eat the blood of our enemies. And the bodies, eh, we're not cannibals. So what we do is we take those, because we can make some shekels, and we give them to the slaughterhouses, and those are pounds and pounds and pounds of meat that we grind up in the sausage and the hamburger, and that's why we made those the most popular thing, sausage for breakfast and hamburger for lunch. And so all the Goyamadi are really eating their children. And uh, even when we say this outright and tell you people, you don't believe it. So that's, that's your problem. And uh, even when we say this outright and tell you people, you don't believe it. So that's that's your problem. So that's that's your problem. 